Okay, so we are at the beginning where we pretty much started and went all the way around. So I showed you the raspberry trees and the fruits, fruit trees. And now we're gonna go to have a look at all these uh, vegetables. So have a look at the garden. This is how it looks from the distance. You can already see some things are ready to be picked. And uh, let's have a closer look. <clears throat> so we start here with these tomato plants. And as you can see, these guys are not doing well at all. There, uh, there's no fruit trees, no fruits on them. There is one. Yeah, uh, there's few little tomatoes, but they're not doing very well. I think uh, they're not gonna survive the um, very long. Here is one salad. So this is the salad that we planted, but it's a uh, bol bolting, or how you say it. Yeah. And it's getting a little bit bitter, so we picked most of the salad before we went because we thought it's gonna get really hot. But well, actually, it got rainy. Yeah, it was actually raining more. So if we let it here, maybe they would have more salad. So, but you can see it's now growing up, and it's gonna have flowers soon. And the leaves are really bitter now. So we have two more rows of tomatoes. And some of them are doing quite well. So this one, for example, is doing pretty great. Doesn't have much disease, except a few leaves. So I'm gonna leave those leaves there because they need uh, energy from those leaves. But they don't have much fruit, you know. It's just like one, two tomatoes on each. This one is doing much better. So you see this one is really like expanding and has more tomatoes. And this one as well so this road is pretty good and now we have here the uh, okra so okra is not grown much in uh, Serbia nobody knew what it is even but I was eating it in Thailand so it's more tropical and you can see some of them have already flowers so here is one flower so this is gonna be little okras here, maybe, I'm not sure when, because we are just starting. There is another flower over here. Yeah. And another flower over here. So these all are gonna be little okras. There's more tomatoes. So again, these ones are not doing very well. Only a few tomatoes on each plant because we replanted them later and they probably had some shock, you know. Okay, another row is uh, watermelons. So these are watermelons and mixed with uh, some other melons. I think the cantaloupe and the sugar melon. And here you can see these big melons here. So we've been growing this since uh, April when we planted them. And I think some of them are pretty much dying this is drying up so I'm think this is this must be ready look how big that is I think we're gonna open this one tomorrow it's uh it's really big but the problem was we we opened one of them it looked big like this I opened it and it was it was still unripe it was white inside a little bit red totally not sweet so hopefully now it's ready it's has all the signs it has a yellow color at the bottom you can see that if you see that at the shop that's a really good sign that the watermelon was sitting a long time on that and also I think the stem should be a little bit dry so these are the melons that we planted later on and they're like just starting now you can see many of them over here over there another one there's another three over there on that side. Holy shit, another two or three on this side. So there's a lot of melons, watermelons here. Hopefully they'll be ready in August. Hopefully they'll make it on time before the cold weather in September. Here you can see actually a uh, little cantaloupes or some kind of that. So this might make it on time as well. 
Okay, so here we have two more rows of tomatoes. They're still not ready. And some of them have that disease as well. And there's more melons growing here. We need to do some more weeding. And more tomatoes mixed with some, um, how do you call this, Swiss chard. So you can see this was not picked in a long time and needs to be picked. These are really huge leaves. And we move on to another row and this is uh, broccoli. So this broccoli was getting destroyed by some disease or bugs. You can see there are lots of bugs still here and it's, uh, I don't see any, any broccoli, but it got much better. So didn't have any leaves. I was thinking it's just gonna dry out, but now it's just boomed a little bit. Same on the other side. So hopefully we're gonna see some broccoli um, in, um, at the end of summer. Yeah, it's insane. Look at that. It's grown really well, this Swiss chart. I'll definitely plant this next year as well. And again, some tomatoes in between, not doing very well. And if you look on the other side here, there's more tomatoes. And this was actually, I planted so many here. And you can see they're not doing very well. They all got some disease. I think it's from rain and even the fruits are rotting on the plants so it's definitely not a good idea to put them like that these are the sugar melons I think and they're nowhere near ready maybe one more month before they get ripe it's also these potatoes so these are the potato tree a potato plant and they're really growing nice but they also got some disease and are pretty much dying off now so these are carrots i'm gonna pull out pull out one now for you to see how they are so carrots i think the good tip is to see um the, if carrot is ready you have to see this um tip of the carrot coming out so this one is gonna be nice and long oh shit but I don't really know how to pull out the carrots. <laughs> okay, so I pulled out a few carrots. They're a little bit twisted. I think because they're too close together. And let me try one. Hmm, pretty good. Three more rolls of carrots. So we're gonna have lots of carrots for next few days. And carrots are good for storing. So they don't have to be eaten immediately. We have some black tomatoes, but they're still hard. I've never seen this variety, but they're, they're getting there. Holy shit, look at this guy. <laughs> this is fucking insane. Nobody was picking this. And... Mm, really sweet. Wow. As you can see, this got disease as well. And mostly because these two close together, there should be more airflow. Otherwise, the, this is what's gonna happen to your plants, you know. Oh, but it has a lot of fruit, this one. Here we have uh, cucumbers. They're forgotten as well. Before we left, there was nothing here since three weeks ago. And now, there are overripe cucumbers everywhere. <laughs> And we have no idea what to do with them now. It's too many. They're too big. Probably gonna be... Compost. Composted. <laughs> here we have uh, peppers. So it's maybe nine peppers here. And look at... There is a lot of peppers on each one. Some of them are really big. But we're gonna leave them more. Because they're gonna get uh, red. So this one is starting. And... Some of them were picked green already, but they shouldn't be picked green. We should wait till they... This looks like a chili pepper actually, <laughs> some other kind. But look at that guys, so many peppers. Wow, so many. And more tomatoes. There's 
tomatoes are really prone to disease. So when we left, there are no zucchinis here. Everything was picked. And now, three weeks later, look at it. And it's like a... You pick zucchini by twisting it. All right, so this is a big zucchini. I'm not sure how it's gonna be, but there's a uh, lots of them. These zucchinis were left like that. Now it's so many bushes, and I think there's gonna be at least ten zucchinis growing here. Same over here. I think I see two more green ones on the other side. Yeah. I think there'll be at least ten zucchinis. Here are more strawberries, but the season was done like a two months ago. And again, more tomatoes in this row. Some planted earlier than others. More strawberries. And there's more cucumbers. I need to be picked as well. So now we have a lot to eat at once. Okay, so that's our garden tour. Yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, if you leave your garden for just a few weeks, it becomes a mess and you need to take care of it all the time. Um, you need to observe what needs to be picked, what needs to be taken care of. And you can't just leave it like that, otherwise you're not gonna have a successful garden. But I'm pretty surprised how much it's growing and I'm definitely gonna do it next year and plant even more at the back over there. So thanks for watching and as always keep gardening and stay adventurous. Okay guys so this is zucchinis that we grew. Look at that size. So we've been three weeks gone and they haven't been picked and this is how they get. Hopefully they're still good especially these ones. I think this these Italian ones they're gonna be good. Hopefully these white ones as well. So we're gonna see. So keep growing your own food and stay adventurous.